Most people don't think of a lighthouse surrounded by water when they are searching for water for a property to buy. But Bob and Joan Gonsolin did. In a government auction, they placed a bid on the oldest lighthouse in the Chesapeake Bay. It was Bob's idea, but Joan reluctantly went along with it. I decided to say yes, knowing that there was absolutely no way we would get it. Their final bid of $31,000 was enough to win the auction. The U.S. Coast Guard turned over the keys to the front door. So we got it. So it's ours. The cast iron lighthouse stands 56 feet tall and has five levels. The first floor cellar, the second floor kitchen, the third floor bedroom, fourth floor family room, and the fifth floor watch and light tower for a total of 1,200 square feet of indoor space and 600 square feet of deck. We are actually rehabilitating the lighthouse and not restoring it. So we can give ourselves the comfort of home and not have to replace it exactly as it was. Middle Ground Lighthouse was built in 1891 in the James River off Newport News, Virginia. Until it was automated in 1955, it had a lightkeeper in residence. When the last lightkeeper moved out, seagulls moved in. The smell was unbelievable because the seagulls had been living here for 50 years. I would not even sit down in the place because it was just so filthy. It was disgusting. That, disgusting, that's a very good word. Renovation not only meant removing 12 decades of lead-based paint, but replacing missing railings, installing new iron decking and windows, and painting the lighthouse red. Everything we owned when we were in the painting had red on it. Red underwear, I mean, you get in your shoes, your socks. It is a working lighthouse. The Coast Guard had a very few requirements when they transferred it to us. One was we kept it red um, because it's a navigational aid. We have to keep the ladder in good shape. We have to provide them access, and they can store their equipment here. But the decorating was completely up to Bob and Joan. They just had to figure out how to decorate round rooms with a pole in the middle. It's about 12 inches in diameter. You're not sure how to actually you know, work around it. We painted a compass rose around some of the poles so that we would know which way's north, south. Because as you climb the circular staircase, the directions are always different on each floor. Each room with their curved walls required custom-made furniture. A curved kitchen table can seat up to 15 people. A curved bench can provide seating against a wall or extra seating next to the table. One floor up, custom bookcases line the walls of the bedroom. It's not like they could just build a straight piece of furniture. They had to kind of curve it in. Unable to hang any artwork on the curved walls, the solution was to paint murals. In the fourth floor family room, new portal windows were installed and can be opened to let in sea breezes. A custom-built sofa stretches along the curved walls with storage under the cushions. While Joan designed and decorated, Bob worked on making the house functional. Solar panels send energy to batteries that power lights and appliances. Bob also installed a combined heater and air conditioner on each floor. A cistern in the cellar holds rainwater collected from gutters. The fresh water is used in the kitchen, shower, and bathroom. Just off the kitchen, the family installed the only toilet on board with a special waste system. It comes down from the toilet, it goes into this box up here, and it actually electrocutes the waste and sterilizes it, which makes it okay to send it overboard, and it's Coast Guard approved. At the end of the workday, the family took baths in the river until they built an outdoor shower. So Bob decided he was going to spend the night on the lighthouse. He was up on the upper deck. Upper taking deck. a shower and his clothes blew off the deck. <laughs> I just so. had a towel. <laughs> One phone call and local crabbers will deliver fresh Chesapeake crab to their door. And after dinner, family and friends enjoy skeet shooting off the lower deck. This family has created cherished memories in the process of turning an historic lighthouse into a treasured home.